Welcome to the Central Valley's Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team. Sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. Serve the USA, and we are so deeply thankful to you for them. God, we cannot be silent about our love and gratefulness to our veterans, and that is why we are here. That is why we here in the Central Valley have this amazing parade. That is why we celebrate. That is why there are expressions of excitement, cheering, music, and marching. Today we remember those who have served our nation and laid down their lives to protect and defend our freedom. We remember those who still bear the scars of their service, asking for healing for them in mind, body, and spirit. We remember those who serve us now, especially for those in harm's way, asking that you shield them from danger and bring them home safe. We remember those who serve in government, asking that you turn their hearts and minds to the work of establishing a peace born of justice and equity. We give you thanks today for those who have served for months in orchestrating this parade for the participants, the community leaders, all the veterans groups represented, the businesses, institutions, organizations, and everyone who had a part. Lord, you have gifted your people and given them tools, talents, resources, and funds to accomplish collectively incredible things. This beautiful parade to honor our veterans is a great example. Oh God, may the peace you gave us, the peace that passes all human understanding, be the peace that guides and sustains us now and in the future. And we thank you, Lord, for our Grand Marshal G. Pao Jung. His medals attest to his heroism. So now, may that peace be ours, and may we enjoy this incredible parade, for it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Please remain standing. Boy Scout Troop 257, please unfurl the flag. Please welcome testing Vice President. Please welcome Vice President of the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade to give us our pledge of allegiance, Brian Duty. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hailed by musical professionals for their energy and commitment to making music, the Tower Quartet was formed in 2018 by current and former Fresno State graduate students. Combining a love for tradition with an eye towards inclusion, the Tower Quartet performs both in conventional 
and unusual spaces, bridging the gap between genres and generations. The Tower Quartet strives to make chamber music accessible and exciting for their community and are here today to honor our nation's veterans. If we can hold a moment. There are many veterans who are not here with us today. And I ask if you can give a moment of silence for them. Many people along the parade route are Gold Star parents. And that means they had lost a loved one, a child, in, the active, duty, in active duty. Thank you. Please welcome the Tower Quartet and members of the Fresno Philharmonic. We have Leanna Elmore on violin, Aaron Adams on violin, Matthew Smoke on viola, and Kelvin Diaz Inoa on cello as they play our national anthem. Thank you, Tower Quartet. As we hold a moment, we will have a flyover by 144 Fighter Wing. We heard them a few moments ago take off. As soon as we have our flyover, we will begin our march.
One more minute. Get those cameras ready. Here they come. Are we ready to have a parade? One second as we strike the chairs from the Tower Quartet. All right, Army Recruiting Station, we're taking your lead. Thank you. I'd like to say that leading this year's parade uh, is the color guard from the United States Army Fresno, California Recruiting Station. They are currently serving in the active duty United States Army. Holding our large American flag is a Boy Scout Troops 257. The troop participates in many community service events and Troop 257 is committed to helping our scouts become responsible adults and tomorrow's leaders. They are proud to be chartered through the Clovis Elks Lodge. The troop wishes to express its heartfelt thanks to all veterans. All right, and we see and hear now the Fresno State Bulldogs. Marching band. They are the largest and they are the most prestigious collegiate marching band on the West Coast, serving the greater Fresno community through community service and through performance, this band is a true cross-section of campus. Members from every college at Fresno State, the Bulldog Marching Band is the largest student organization on campus and will be representing the Central Valley in the 2023 Rose Parade as well as the 2023 St. Patrick's Day Parade in Dublin, Ireland. The uh, Fresno Marching Band has earned its position in our parade uh, long before today was considered a holiday for the Fresno State University. Uh, they would come out on their own, on their own dime, uh, and skip class to be a part of this parade. And uh, when we finally got the state to acknowledge this as a holiday, uh, then we said, for your efforts in the beginning, you will always be our kickoff band. Hmm. All right, and here we have coming up the Fresno High School Junior ROTC, which was established in 1996. Be coming up the road here any minute now. These 150 strong warrior battalion cadets participate in daily classroom instruction covering leadership, character development, problem solving, and rigorous physical fitness programs, all while instilling the idea of good citizenship and patriotism. Many JROTC candidates after graduation will continue their education in the senior ROTC. 
and a scholarship program and possibly commission as an officer in one of the military services. The Army instructors for these Fresno High School Warriors are retired Lieutenant Colonel William Molina and A little razzle-dazzle there from the uh, rifle squad. These guys have to do uh, their ROTC in addition uh, to their normal academics. And we have a lot more to go. <laughs> we are just beginning. We will be right back from the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade. We're good. You're watching the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade. Brought Do you hear me? You got that? Well, actually, being that our microphones are on, you can hear us, just the people in TV land can't. So let's say hey to our Grand Marshal this morning. We are so proud to have our Grand Marshal with us this morning. Welcome back to the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team, sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. So now we say hello to Chief Paco Valderrama from the Fresno Police Department, proudly serving the community over 540,800 plus sworn officers, 300 plus professional staff dedicated to keeping this city safe each and every day. In the parade today, we have the chief himself in one of the recruitment vehicles that we're seeing here. But it's not just a vehicle with fancy lights. We also have bikes, and we also have the mounted patrol unit. The Fresno Police Department, honored to serve this wonderful community of ours. Matt Oddstott from KMJ is out along the parade route. Good morning, Matt. Thank you very much, Kim and Justin, and happy Veterans Day one and all. We are on the hot corner at Tellerian P in downtown Fresno, getting you the very beginning. What do we have here? What do we have here? Suicide prevention, sir. All right, well, 980, here you go. Thank you very much. Suicide prevention. The many things that you'll get here as part of our full coverage of the Fresno Veterans Day Parade, the 103rd annual. We have got a long line. Oh, wait, come here. Michael, come here. On a factor of 1 to 15, look at this cuteness. Look at the, who's cuter. It's like, which one of my kids do I love more? All right, I don't want to hold the parade up. Go ahead. Beautiful puppies. And look, over here, we're three or four deep. Wave, everybody. Happy Veterans Day. Kim, Justin, Dan, we've got a lot of coverage. We've got a long parade to cover. Anytime you need me, we're here. We've got puppies. We've got people. We've got veterans and more. We're going to send it back to you guys for more. Naval Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland. From here, he was transferred to the Naval Medical Clinic uh, in Pearl Harbor. Wow, that was rough duty. Uh, here, he worked with both Marine and Naval personnel. Gary is a great contributor to the Veterans Parade and makes it more possible than you will ever know. 
And this is Daryl's Mini Storage. Thank you very much. Celebrating the Veterans Day Parade here since 1963. Daryl's Mini Storage has been said to be the Valley's first choice for all storage needs. Best part is they're right around the corner from your office or home. Fit, uh, visit Daryl's.com to get an extra place and space for you. Daryl's is one of our major sponsors for the parade, and we appreciate uh, their sponsorship that makes uh, this parade possible. Uh, we have to uh, go out there and uh, get sponsors to uh, make this parade possible, and thank you to Daryl's Mini Storage. All right, next we have the Fresno County Department of Behavioral Health. They strive to promote hope and health, as well as improving the wellness of our community. They provide prevention as well as treatment services to Fresno County residents. Fresno County Department of Behavioral Health is a place where hope and healing unite. Periodically throughout this broadcast, we are going to be going uh, live uh, on the parade route. You just saw Matt Ottstadt on TV, and you will see Alexis Govea as well. And we here at City Hall will continue with those members and participants of the parade who are walking by so that everyone is a part. And right now, we say hail to American Ambulance. Thank you for providing paramedic ambulance services since 1975. To all of the veterans working in law enforcement, fire, or EMS, thank you for not only serving our nation, but also our community. I was actually a recipient of uh, American Ambulance a few weeks ago. They oh. took me from VA here in Fresno all the way to Travis Air Force Base. Wow. Yeah, I had that. Uh, That's in Northern California. Yeah, I had my shoulder pop out of place, a uh, prosthetic implant, and they rushed me out there. Uh, great American ambulance. Uh, next, we have a sincere welcome uh, to our American XPOW, Fresno Chapter 1. In the first vehicle, we will see American ex prisoner of war, Sam Benuelos. Uh, from the Korean War. In the second vehicle, we have a POW widows from the Fresno chapter. The two individuals carrying the, the AX POW flag are United States Marines Thomas Mora and Freddie Dominguez. Thank you for your service. Yes, that's what this day is about, is remembering the price of freedom. Our next group is the Military Order of the Purple Heart, Chapter 106, led by Commander Mike Holgram. This chapter was created by George Washington in nine, or excuse me, in 1782 and is the oldest active military medal in the United States. This medal is commemorated for men and women who were wounded or killed by an opposing armed forces during military services. National Purple Heart Day is celebrated every year on August 7th. Leading off Division One is the Fresno State Army ROTC Color Guard. These individuals are some of the best cadets from the Fresno State Officer Development Program. Each cadet will be commissioned as an officer in the United States Army upon graduation from Fresno State. Only the best are chosen to carry and present the colors of the United States. And right behind the Color Guard is their commander, Colonel Vogan, and the other leadership includes Major Gakad, ROTC recruiter, Mr. Ramirez, and Cadet Joshua Dodson. I appreciate hearing them uh, uh, giving a salute to the flag every time I get out of class after teaching Fresno State at a certain time. They're there over by the pool and the North Gym, and it is so impressive to see no matter the time of day or <laughs> the temperature, they're out there and they are showing their a salute to our flag. We'll be right back here on TV on CW59. You're watching the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team, sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. We'll be right back.
PKU and Rancheria of the Chickasaw Indians as well. Looks like we have uh, the County of Fresno Department of Behavioral Health as well, doing some really good work for our community. Subaru Lithia of Subaru Fresno, Biotech Associate, Comcast, American Ambulance, who we saw earlier in this parade. Johansson uh, Transportation Service, the Red Wave Print Shop, and of course, Assemblyman Jim Patterson. Welcome back to the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team, sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. And we also like to thank uh, Council Member Gary Bredefeld and especially the Mayor, uh, Mayor Dyer, because they uh, personally contribute to this parade as well monetarily, and we thank them for their contributions. And they were part of the opening ceremony, sharing their uh, thoughts and, um, and appreciation for not only community, but for our veterans of this community. For those who are uh, taking part of this parade by watching it on KMPH Facebook or streaming online or on CW59, you get to go out along the parade route right now with Lexi. Good morning, Lexi. adorable but Jeff let's start with you just how special is this as I had mentioned you are a vet yourself how special is this this parade I'm a fifth generation uh, veteran I go clear back to the Civil War and uh, my father grandfather all fought World War One, World War II and my brothers Korea Vietnam they led the tanks into uh, Iraq and have relatives now who are in service. So it is very special. Uh, Thank you so much. And you brought Atticus out with you. Atticus? Grandson. Yes, grandson Atticus. So come on over here, Atticus. You wanted your TV time today, right, Atticus? Yes. Atticus, is this your first time out here at the parade? Yes. And are you enjoying it so far? Do you love what you see? Yes, but some of them are pretty back. Well, hey, there's so much more that's here to come. Is there anything that you want the community to know, Jeff? This is a rich community with great heritage for serving the station, and I'm thankful. Thankful for you once again. What time did you come on out to grab a good seat? 8.15. 8.15. Oh, and it started at 11.11. That's some dedication. Well, hey, they're out here having a good time. Let's get back to the parade. For those watching on TV, we've got the Edison Golden Brigade right now. Aeromanche is their performance by A.E. Kelly. And right behind Edison is our California Army National Guard. The Recruit Sustainment Program is the Valley Premier Unit that specializes in training young individuals that enlist into the National Guard. Their mission is to train the force so they are better prepared to face the challenges of basic training. These individuals who have enlisted go off for a period of time and return a soldier that serves with a local National Guard unit helping save lives. The other vehicles that you will see here are driven by members from the 40th Combat Aviation Brigade, 1072nd Transportation Company, and Recruiting and Retention Command. If you have the bandwidth, you can find more information at www.nationalguard.com. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The next greatest generation is now. 
Thank you to the National Guard. We certainly appreciate what they do. Uh, these guys have been, uh, what you would say, deployed uh, to Afghanistan, Iraq. Uh, many of them have made as many as three to four missions uh, overseas, plus what they do here in CONUS, or Continental United States. We uh, certainly appreciate what they do, the sacrifices that they make, and uh, we would really be in a lot of trouble if we didn't have the National Guard. We thank them. These are the newer Humvees. Uh, they're more uh, equipped for combat, uh, trying to uh, absorb some of the IEDs that we see out uh, in a combat environment. They have armor plates underneath the, uh, the Humvees uh, to help uh, to uh, deflect any of the IEDs that they get. In the old days, we used to put sandbags mm. on the floorboard to try to protect us from IEDs. Uh, they've made some significant improvements to these vehicles. And some of these are family members of the National Guard. We certainly appreciate them being out here. Thank them for their sacrifice as well when their family member needs to leave. Where's Jay Smith? Is he out here anywhere? Where's Jay? <laughs> Jay is part of this transportation unit, and uh, we certainly appreciate uh, all he does for this unit. Same with uh, Victor Vasquez, who's also our treasurer for Central Valley uh, Veterans Day Parade. Again, just a safety note, we're not allowed to throw candy from the vehicles. Uh, you would have to get out and walk it uh, to the sidelines. Our insurance does not allow us to throw candy from the vehicles onto the street. So uh, remember that as you go through uh, the parade route. All right now we have the 1,106th Theater Aviation Sustainment Maintenance Group and other National Guard units. Uh, this unit is only one of four Army organizations with pre-mobilization missions to perform aviation sustainment, maintenance, and repair designated Army aircraft components as part of the Aviation National Maintenance Program. Their mission is to provide dedicated theater-level aviation sustainment and backup aviation field maintenance capability to the combatant commander. Well, we're a little behind here. We also have the, uh, uh, we just saw the Association of the United States Army, and now we are celebrating uh, those who gave for the Battle of the Bulge. The largest land battle of World War II involving U.S. forces started December 16, 1945, and lasted until January 28th. Now, here we have Henry Cedillo representing his father, Juan, who fought in the Battle of the Bulge. Next, we have the Mexica Azteca and Vietnam combat veteran Eli Munoz. He is a U.S. Army veteran and a member of the Military Order of the Purple Heart. He is a proud member of the Mexica Azteca indigenous tribe. He is driving a Ford F-100 Ranger XLT. And followed by the combined veterans of Kerman, the 1942 4x4 Jeep Willie used during World War II, owned now by American Legion member Albert Boatner. Also a six by six troop and cargo truck also used during World War II. Nicknamed Deuce and a Half, owned by Ron Brock. Riding with them are the Ladies Auxiliary, Sons of the American Legion and friends and family. They also have a 1941 half truck, personal carrier M3 used during World War II. It is owned by Curtis Helmuth and holds members of the VFW Memorial Post 8470 as well as members from World War II and Iraq. Liz, when I first came into the Marine Corps in 73, we were still using those six buys and those Jeeps. 
So sometimes things take a while to get Yeah, modernized. sometimes it takes a while before you get uh, the newer stuff. Great turnout of people here on the streets as well as uh, viewers on TV. We certainly appreciate your involvement out here. Thank you so much for all that you do. This is a, a good uh, turnout for the Combined Veterans of Kerman. It is. You say? Yeah. It is. Take a look at those hot rods coming through, huh? Yeah, that's a sprint car. Looks really nice. Here's another one. These are the vehicles that uh, compete in Madeira and uh, the sprint tracks out there. Also in, uh, I believe it's uh, Visalia Tulare area, they have sprint car races down there as well. If you notice on the rear wheels, the right side is a bigger tire than the, the left side because they're constantly making the left-hand turns. <laughs> we certainly appreciate uh, the Kerman veterans uh, showing up in large numbers. This is fantastic. Uh, we love to see uh, communities get involved this way. Uh, some really, really nice uh, hot rod sprint cars. Pretty looking trucks, too, pulling some of these uh, trailers. Which we'll be seeing an awful lot of uh, in the coming uh, month ahead. That's right. Months, I should say. And another big thank you to one of our sponsors, Amazon. Uh, hopefully none of you have any deliveries in that truck. I'm sure you'll forgive them uh, if they're a little delayed for participating in the Veterans Day Parade. Once again, a big thank you to Amazon as one of our sponsors today. And now we have the Valley Adult Care Healthcare Center. They provide social and health services, activities, and meals to veterans in the Fresno metropolitan area. There is a highly trained staff that works here, and this healthcare center is community based. It's designed to meet the unique needs of mentally or physically frail veterans. This is Valley Adult Day Healthcare Center. Thank you for all you do for our Valley veterans. And for those of you watching at home on the CW59, thank you so much. We will be right back with more from the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade. We're watching the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team. Sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. We'll be right back. Base uh, Nurse Corps. She was a flight nurse instructor for Medevac missions. Thank you very much for your service. Hey, let's hear it for the American Legion Riders, Chapter 509. These guys do so much. They escort uh, uh, burials uh, from here to Santa Sananella. Uh, they do quite a bit. We certainly appreciate everything that the American Legion Riders chapter does. It's a motorcycle group enthusiast well known for their charitable work, which has raised thousands of dollars for local children's hospital schools, wounded service members, and scholarship. Their mission is to help veterans while having fun riding. Now this next group uh, is near and dear to me because this is the national, uh, uh, the Navigation Life Group uh, there we go. That's uh, Pat Garza and his wife, Stephanie, and uh, they're from my church, Rock Harbor Church. So we certainly appreciate them being here. Uh, Rock Harbor Church and Old Town Clovis, they help military couples navigate through the unique military life and integration process while providing...
Welcome back to the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News Team, sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. And for those of you watching at home on the CW59, thank you uh, for joining us here at the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade in downtown Fresno. We would now want to send it out to KMJ's Matt Ostot with more from the parade route. Matt. Kim and Justin, you don't know, it, it, it's a wonderful hobby of mine. I've been trying to get on a float, and just as the, the, the time was right, I had all these trucks go by me. And just when it comes, now it's the horses. And that's the beautiful thing about this parade. Everything and anything goes by, and some of these folks over here said, talk to the horses. Well, you can, you want, but some amazing machinery going by, some brave men and women in uniform. Here's another group. Look at, look at these beautiful horses. My goodness. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Who, yes. who do we have here? This is the 26th Mounted Operations Detachment of the California State Guard. How often do you guys just come out and bring the horses in an event like this? Or is this a special once a year thing? Oh, no, we have done it quite a bit. COVID kind of stopped us. But actually, you know, we're going to be in the Rose Parade this year, representing the California State Guard. Well, fantastic. Yeah. Well, we don't want to hold up to parade. Right. Happy Veterans okay. Day to you. Thank Take you. care. Okay. See? First Fresno, then the Rose Parade. You never know what we're going to see next, guys, so we're going to send it back to you. Activity 14 ground. A uh, small family of employees. They work full time for the Army Reserves. They are uh, dual status employees consisting of Army Reserve soldiers, civilian federal employees. They support multiple units from Fresno all the way down to Bakersfield. They service, they maintain, they repair all types of equipment to ensure unit readiness for training in the battlefield. Support is key. Thank you. Notice the different colors. Uh, we had the, the sand colored, uh, obviously used for desert warfare, while the green is used for jungle warfare. Uh, depending on what your area is depends on what the color of your equipment is. Is there another color we haven't seen yet? No, these are the only two, two right now. Um, there used to be a kind of in-between, uh, but they don't have that anymore. Now it's, it's strictly sand or uh, jungle colors. The sand-colored uh, vehicle that you're going to see here in just a minute uh, is referred to as a dragon wagon. Uh, if the trailers are not connected and they're going over 15 miles an hour, if they apply their brakes rapidly, it will tilt forward. And let's not apply those brakes too rapidly with people sitting on the roof. I'm kind of jealous yeah, there. Yeah, they're going to do a nose dive. <laughs> They'll do a nosedive. Most of these vehicles are uh, able to uh, make amphibious type landings. Uh, they're, they're designed to uh, go underwater, especially if you see uh, the stack by the, by the windshield that goes above. Uh, that means that they can actually be submerged up to the top of that stack. We're not going to do that with this next engine. No, right, no, yeah. not these guys. Yeah, please welcome the California State Guard Mounted Operations Detachment. The California State Guard is part of the California Military Department, which includes the Army Guard, Air Guard, and Cadet Corps. It's a volunteer force, volunteer, formed to provide California with a trained and organized force in the event of a state emergency. Operations include search and rescue, as well as large animal evacuations during emergencies such as wildfires. They've been selected to ride in the 2023 Tournament Ro of Roses Parade. And we actually want to uh, acknowledge the people on the back of these uh, horses that walk uh, behind the horses. They provide a service too, so uh, thank you up? for those volunteers. This is the Fresno County Veteran Service Offices. Yeah, give them a round of applause. Vital and effective system of, of system of services they offer to veterans. 
their dependents as well and their survivors. They provide guidance from beginning to end of all benefits on behalf of their clients. They fill out claims to help families obtain their benefits and their entitlements from the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, the Department of Defense, and state and local programs as well. And right in front of the stage here, give it up for the Kings County Sheriff's Posse, which is led by Dave Robinson. The posse was formed in 1937. This is their 85th year, riding in parades throughout the state. They were in the 2012 Rose Parade as part of a group of 100 Palomino horses celebrating Roy Rogers' 100th birthday. Members donate funds to support programs like the Explorer Post, Canine Unit, and Mounted Enforcement Unit. The Posse has been awarded numerous first place honors for their riding excellence throughout California and has acted as an honor guard for the President of the United States. Thank you to the Kings County Sheriff's Posse. And now we have the Joint Military Assistance Command. They are rooted in Southeast Asia. They consist mainly of refugees who served in uh, the war against uh, communism. Today they serve veterans and their families by providing full military honors, including rifle salute, flag folding, and family presentation. Thank you, Joint Military Assistance Command. I actually had the honor of uh, training a lot of these guys on how to do flag folding, uh, how to do burial details. Uh, it was an honor to work with these gentlemen. They are certainly dedicated to serving their community. Hoorah, thank you, thank you so much. We have a lot of uh, American veterans uh, that uh, owe their lives to these guys who uh, went out of their ways to make sure they were protected. No doubt. And we want to send it back to KMJ's Matt Ottstadt uh, out along the parade route, uh, taking a look at the sights and sounds from the crowd's point of view. Matt? Anyone that knows me knows that no matter what I've done in my career, I always seem to gravitate toward the food. And there are some amazing, these are the Native American members. Thank you so very much. Happy Veterans Day. Skyhawk, Mac of Merced, indigenous people. There you go. In addition to the wonderful cultures that we have in the Central Valley, we also have food. Come with me, Michael. In addition to the parade, get a shot of that. Bacon dogs. So in addition to watching the parade, there's something for the delights and sounds and smells. And the parade, we've got a lot to do. Michael, turn around. I mean, we're at the beginning at the corner of Tulare and P, and the parade goes all the way down there. We have not yet begun to scratch the surface, surface of the 103rd annual Fresno Veterans Day Parade. Lots to see, lots to smell, hopefully lots to taste. Guys, we're going to send it back to you. For, and Lexi for sharing us uh, the excitement along the parade route. We're back here at the uh, Fresno City Hall Central Area with the uh, Central Valley Mustang Club. If you can hear us over these guys revving up their engines, yeah. honking their horns. Yeah, rev it up, fellas, rev it up. And gals, come on. There we go. There we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Big smile on the faces. Oh there. yeah. <laughs> I can I can do that with police around and not get in trouble. Yeah, right not now. get in trouble. This is the only time you can get away with it, right? Hey, there's the Grinch. <laughs> I grew up with a 1966 white Mustang. Yeah. My dad sold it because the uh, 
Baby car seat wouldn't fit in the back. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit of regret with that one. Yeah. Should have just left my brother at home. <laughs> All right, up next, we have the Indigenous Warriors Flag Group. They are a nonprofit 501c3, consisting of veterans and their families. These families love to serve. They are often seen in parades, powwows, memorials, weddings, and schools. They are honored to be in the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade. Indigenous, Indigenous Warriors Flag Group, thank you so much. I love their uh, the costumes that they wear, and it, it's uh, authentic. Uh, the flags are authentic. Uh, these uh, people, some of them come all the way out from Texas. There's my good buddy, Frank Gonzalez. Good to see you. It's always a joy. Thank you for bringing your family out here. Good deal. And now we see the Lipan Apache Band of Texas. They are natives of the Americas. They live to serve their communities, and they want to say thank you to our veterans for their service. And thank you for coming out all the way from Texas. Yeah, just a little bit ago, we saw that uh, Marine and Dress Greens uh, walking behind the Indigenous Warriors flag group. He comes out every year, uh, and it's amazing he still fits in his uniform. That's, that's, <laughs> that is impressive. Yeah. I love seeing this because we see uh, the young uh, adults and the young kids as part of this, and this is very important to their heritage For sure. and uh, I love seeing the support that the youngsters put into this and the fact that the adults take the time uh, to involve them now Dan what were you saying a moment ago about uh, what Ford stands for yeah uh, what does Chevy stand for uh, <laughs> Chevy stands for all around number one I don't know what the C-H-E-V-Y stands for <laughs> Uh, but Jimmy Olson is a good friend of mine, and he's right here sitting in this Corvette. Jimmy, hoorah, brother, it's good seeing you, and thank you for coming out here in your Corvette club. It's always a joy to see you, brother. Hoorah, Semper Fi. Corvettes of Fresno is a nonprofit organization that strives to donate to several charitable causes. Corvettes of Fresno would like to extend their respect and appreciation to all veterans and to all who are currently serving in the armed forces. You know what, I, Mustangs are okay, but I'd rather have a Corvette. Is that what you were alluding to a minute ago there, Dan? No, I was just being, uh, I was just kind of diplomatic. being. Diplomatic. Yeah, diplomatic here, thank you, Liz. Corvettes. Hey, they're both awesome cars. Yes, they are. All right, Corvettes of Fresno, uh, the Mustang group revved it up pretty good. Anybody else got the gas? Come on, Corvettes, can you rev it up? There you go. We don't want the Mustangs to show you guys up. Maybe they're just more sensible. <laughs> well, gas is more expensive, right? <laughs> These guys, get, every time they hit the gas, there goes $6. So. Again, we'd like to uh, thank Daryl's Mini Storage, Amazon, uh, Comcast, American Ambulance, uh, Biotech Associates, uh, Red Wave Print Shop, Assemblyman Jim uh, Patterson, Mayor Dyer, Gary Bredefeld, a lot of these people who personally donated and made this ve uh, Veterans Parade uh, possible. What do you think, Liz? Are you having a good time? I am having a wonderful time. Thank good, you. Good. You having a great time? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, that sun is coming in, isn't it? <laughs> it feels pretty nice, actually. Yeah. You know, we, wearing, had, uh, we got 50s today, and the sun yeah. makes it feel nice. I'm uh, wearing long johns underneath. It was a lot cooler at 6 this morning. Now it's going to be a little warm. Yeah, some of you out there had a little bit of fog this morning. Yeah. That's all right. We're quite blessed with our weather and with our community. You know, and all I've been involved in the parade for over 20 years. 
We have never had a parade rained out. We've had rain before. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep on calling you Liz and it's Kim. That's okay. Yeah, but she answered, so. <laughs> but uh, we've never had it rain during a parade. We've had it rain before the parade and immediately after, but never during the parade. Love that. It's like divine assistance. Yeah. I think some of us weather guys would like to take a little credit, though. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Not too much, though. No, not too much. All right, now we have the Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 933. It was named in honor of the Fresno City College graduate, Marine Lance Corporal William G. Camp. He was killed in action in Vietnam in 1968. The group welcomes U.S. veterans who served throughout the world during the Vietnam War era. They're dedicated to serving the needs of Central Valley veterans. Thank you, Vietnam Veterans of America. All right, for those of us here on the parade route, we will uh, still enjoy all of this parade here. But on TV, we are going to toss to break, and we will be right back with you live from the Fresno Veterans Day Parade. You're watching the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team, sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team, sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. For those of you watching on the CW59, thank you so much for joining us here at the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade in downtown Fresno. We now want to send it to Fox 26's Alexis Govea, out wandering the parade route. Alexis, how's it going out there? And I am joined by some cuties this morning. Well, we're almost hitting noon, so afternoonish, midday vibes. And they have a message. What is your message? Thank you, Lord, for serving us. Oh, they are so cute. Also joining us today is their troop leader, one of their troop leaders. Okay, so what time did y'all come out this morning? You got a good parking spot. Some of us were out here about 8.30, 8.45. We wanted to camp out make sure there's plenty of room for all of our girls. I think they're supposed to have about 60 girls, maybe, between parents and kids. And now, Gail, some of these girls have family members who are veterans, so just how special is today? Oh, it's a big deal. A lot of these girls, quite a few have um, veterans in their families, right, ladies? Yeah, it means a lot to them. It's, it's something very touching for their hearts, and it's a good experience for them to be able to honor others and, and tell them thank you. Any message that you have for the community? Um, get out there, support your community, support your girls. Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, we're all here. These kids are, this is your future, right here. We're having a good time, as you can tell, right, girls? Yeah! <laughs> we're going to get back to the parade. See if, uh, if you're interested. Go to some of their meetings. But uh, the 509, which was established in 1939, have over 700 members, and they would like to honor all veterans for their service. The 509 is actually a split group from Post 4. Post 4 is the lower the number, the older the unit. Oh. Post 4 uh, is the oldest unit in the area. And they had over 2,000, close to 3,000 members. And they got so large, they had to start another organization. And that's where 509 came from. Wow, thank you. Tony, your sister's <laughs> going to get mad at me because she says, don't call him Tony, call him Anthony. But I like to get your sister upset. <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Good to see you, Anthony.
There was a time when Anthony used to walk this route. Now he's sitting in a truck. Well, <laughs> it's a nice truck. Yeah, it is a nice truck, so. The American Legion, Post 509, they're located on uh, First in between uh, Dakota and Shields Avenue. They provide a lot of services. They also rent their hall out mm -hmm. uh, for weddings, quinceaneras, birthdays, anniversaries. They also uh, have bingo night for a lot of uh, the people in the community. Somewhere's to go, something to do. Nice. Yeah, and they're right across the street from Ed Saliba's church. <laughs> In fact, we use the parking lot at uh, Ed Saliba's church a lot of times for some of the larger events at uh, Post 509. Oh, my word. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Look at the hydraulics going. Yeah. 1954 Chevy. That's a Bel Air. We had a Bel Air. We had a Plymouth pass through. Yeah. Chrysler right there. You can't hook your Bluetooth to these. No, not at all. No. <laughs> and that's okay. Look at that. He's got one of the original license plates, the orange ones. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful vehicle. Yeah. A now lot of hard work goes into keeping these. Absolutely. Yeah. Trying to find parts for them nowadays. I mean, the Internet is good for doing that, but uh, still, we're running really low on some of these parts. This is your division. This Marine is Corps. where we honor the Marine Corps. Hoorah. You notice that every division, we have a couple of volunteers that are carrying a division mm -hmm. sign to let us know which division is coming up. And we certainly thank these gentlemen. A lot of them are from ROTC groups or from Boy Scout groups or whatever. But they uh, walk the entire route letting us know uh, which division is to follow. Now, Roosevelt High School uh, is near and dear to me because that's where my daughters graduated from. They were in School of the Arts, and uh, so were some of my uh, not legitimately adopted, but I have other <laughs> daughters uh, that went here as well, Bree and uh, Jacqueline and uh, April. All of them were considered my daughters at one time or another. My dad was a Roosevelt graduate. Oh, really? Well. Yep. My gosh. Way back, way yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is the Rough Rider Band. That's right. As you may know, Roosevelt is home to Roosevelt School of the Arts Magnet, where students go to participate in their visual and performing arts programs. I that, think I, I pulled a hamstring muscle just yeah, watching, that, watching them kick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the Marine Corps League Detachment 14, led by Commander Stefan Hicklin. This organization focuses on community involvement coupled with local young marine programs commanded by Sandy Martinez. And they assist programs such as Toys for Tots. All right, time now to check in with KMJ's Matt Ottstadt. Uh, many of you may or may not know Matt is a Marine, and he's hanging out on the parade route there, uh, checking in with our parade yours. Matt. All right, I finally made it. Yeah, thank you, William. I'm here with William and Amanda. I hopped on one of their cool cars. William, what are we in? What are we riding in? 64 Impala Super Sport. 64 Impala Super Sport. This is the way to see the parade. When in doubt, become part of the Fresno Veterans Day Parade. God bless America and a piece of Americana. William, Amanda, thank you very much. I got my wish. I'm in the parade. Wave, everybody, wave. This car is cool. It's a long line of cars. If I don't get out of this soon, I'm going to be passing by the stage. So I'm going to hop out here in just a second. So we'll send it back to you. <laughs> Hold on. 
All right, it looks like next we have VFW Post 8900. This is a great group that supports Civil Air Patrol, the Boy Scouts of America, and veteran stand-down events. Thank you, VFW, for your continuous support. VFW stands for Veterans of Foreign Wars. Uh, and then, of course, we have the American Legion. We have AMVETS. We have disabled uh, veterans. There's a lot of organizations out there, Purple Heart, uh, Marine Corps League, uh, all these different various organizations uh, you can belong to. Uh, I belong to a few of them. So. And this is the E.G. Henry Gutierrez Auxiliary 8900. Their president, Alva Gomez, and line officers support our veterans by making sure that all men and women uh, who served overseas obtain their entitlements. They also sponsor youth scholarships, and they raise funds for veterans to go on the Central Valley Honor Flight. All veterans are welcome to join them. And even here today, there are grandchildren of members who are helping our veterans. They help with the decorating and even making favors for veterans who are in hospitals. There's Alva. Hi. <laughs> the 8900 group is uh, located just on the west side of 99. They have a great facility and we certainly appreciate uh, the Auxiliary and the VFW Post 8900 for all they do. Love all these classic cars coming through. Now we are honoring Ben M. Ledesma with their family, uh, excuse me, Familia Unidos Car Club. Ben was born in uh, Gila Bend and is 91 years old. He joined the Marine Corps in 1948 and served in the Korean War. He was wounded in battle and received a Purple Heart. After being honorably discharged in 1952, he resided in Fresno, where he retired from Shenley Distilleries. Ben is loved greatly by his family. Ben, thank you for your service. Well, we've come a long way with those uh, outside the window air conditioning units. Uh, that's what those oh, are. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, these cars look like they just came off the showroom floor. Yeah. yeah as you were saying earlier, yeah. man, a lot of time, blood, sweat, and tears go into the restoring these vehicles and up the upkeep of them. Coming up next is the Central California Healthcare System, and they have proudly served veterans throughout our Central Valley for nearly 70 years. There is a VA here in Fresno, the medical center, and uh, three community living outpatient, uh, outpatient clinics in Tulare, Oakhurst, and Merced. They strive to fulfill Abraham Lincoln's promise. You saw Abe earlier on the parade route. The promise to care for them who shall have borne the battle and for their widow and their orphan. We just saw Mary Golden uh, go by from the uh, VA hospital. Mary Golden is a very integral part uh, to the success of that hospital. She's in charge of all the volunteer work and uh, public relations. So the VA volunteers who are here today are community partners from the American Red Cross, the Armed Forces, local veteran service officers for disabled American veterans. And they really want to thank Norma Wallace, who is 90 years young, for her 20 years and 30,000 hours of voluntary service to the veterans in our community. Thank you, Norma, and thank you, the VA. You're watching the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade on CW59. We'll be right back. You're watching the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team. Sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. We'll be right back. Veterans, and they do a great job doing that.
All right, so right here we have the Fresno Vet Center. They offer confidential help for veterans, service members, and their families. There is no cost to this. Again, it's confidential. It's a non-medical setting. They are staffed with highly trained counselors and team members dedicated to seeing you through a challenge that may come with managing life during and after military. This is Fresno Vet Center. The Fresno Vet Center provides a multitude of services, and you're right, it's for the family and the veterans because family members have a lot of issues mm -hmm. to deal with when these veterans come back from being deployed, whether it's PTSD or whatever. Welcome back to the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team, sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. Thank you, Fresno Vet Center and all who work there and That's help right. so many families here. Uh, let's go now. Now, well, Welcome back, by the way, uh, to the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade here in downtown Fresno. Let's go back to uh, somewhere along the parade route with Lexi Govea. Hi, Lex. <laughs> and I am joined by the Morales brothers. It is getting very loud out here. So much going on, right? These are two oh, veterans. So tell us about your background. Well, I was born in Mexico and then you know, I went and come to the United States and went in the Army and then I spent 15 months in Vietnam. And thank you so much for your service. And just how special is it to have this parade out here, something like this? It's very special because we honor Every, all the veterans, especially all the veterans, and you know, regardless of backgrounds or whatever, but they were the great people of America. Let me come on over here and talk to your brothers. Excuse me, we'll make my, I'll make my way over here. Good morning, tell us your name. Oh, my name is Felix Morales. I'm to a Vietnam veteran. I, I got drafted. I didn't volunteer for anything, but I got drafted in '69. So I spent most of 1970 in Vietnam as an infantryman. Talk to us a little bit about that. You know, war experiences is something hard to describe. I tell people it's something you gotta live it to understand what it was like. It's hard to put into words. Well, we are so thankful for you, the Morales brothers. Thank you so, so much for your service. We're going to be hanging out here all day, so stay tuned. For now, we're going to toss things back to the parade. And we want to thank the Morales brothers for their service. Uh, Lexi, thank you as well. And we're back here on the route. Up next, I believe we are still going through the Fresno Vet Center. You know, I'm still twisting my neck back at that Ford pickup back there that passed by the yellow one yeah uh, you know when dan i gotta i gotta side with you after seeing that truck yeah there you go beautiful there, truck yeah, beautiful absolutely i know i watch uh the show last man standing and he's got that gorgeous green uh ford pickup as well oh yeah yeah justin what's your favorite so far of this parade it's hard to say. If you're making me choose between the classic cars, I'm not going to pick a side because <laughs> we know about the rivalry between Ford and Chevy. And if we have Dodge coming up, then yeah, they'll uh, be up. And all the PT Cruisers off. will be here in a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Not, not picking a side because they're all beautiful and everybody puts a lot of hard work. I was in. trying to set you up, Justin. Yeah. That's oh. what I was doing. Oh, I was I was on to you, buddy. I was on to you, Dan. <laughs> well, instead, let's thank AT and T veterans. They are an independent 501c3 charitable organization. AT and T employees and retirees dedicated to serving our veterans and our military community. Yes, they would like to thank all veterans and their families for their service and sacrifice. AT&T. You know, when I was in Desert Storm, AT&T had 18 wheelers with uh, just uh, like 20 phones inside there. And the vets were able to go inside the 18 wheelers and call their family back home. And AT&T did that for free. Uh, so uh, the AT&T has been a supporter of veterans for years, years. And for them to even have broadband, to be able to maybe see, you know, do a, a FaceTime with their family or right. even be there with the birth of right. a child. That's right. 
and AT&T. an uncle that served in the Navy, and once he was done, he went to work for AT&T. Yeah, right that's away. the other thing. They're one of the largest uh, employers of veterans. We'll have the Postal Service coming through here uh, in a bit. Same thing. They hire a lot of veterans. If you have a problem with pests in your home, we know who you need to call. And no, it is not Ghostbusters. Call Main Creek Pest Solutions, Inc., Justin Talmadge served as an infantryman with the United States Marine Corps. There you Brian, go. That's Brian Justin Judy. right there. And there he is. his partner is this guy standing behind us. And he's also the vice president of the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade. That's Brian Dowdy. Yeah, Brian served as a United States Navy hospital corpsman with the United States Marines. They are proud to be the local vets. That blast pets. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, Justin and Brian, for your service. Julie Cusseter here from the uh, California Veterans Home of California. We thank you so much. Julie and I have worked together uh, with the uh, Veterans Home uh, since, gosh darn, it's been <laughs> so long. Nine yeah, nine she years. She says nine years. In but fact, I'm the last living of the original five that started the veterans home we drove around looking for property to put the veterans home uh, all of them have passed i'm the last one mm. uh, that's living uh, from that original group well the work you did for this 300 bed long-term care facility on 30 acres beautiful thank you absolutely opened in october of 2013 there are two levels of care so that there's continuity in the lives of the residents in that home-like experience, and they get the dignity and the respect that they deserve at the Veterans Home of Fresno. And it's time to take a bite out of crime. You know who that is, right? McGruff, isn't it? That's it. Yeah. Uh, we are welcoming the Fresno County Sheriff's Office Boating Enforcement Unit. They are known to enforce laws on the waterways within Fresno County. They want to remind everyone to wear life jackets and follow the rules of the waterways. It is now required by law to have a boater ID card to operate watercraft. To get your boater ID, go to CaliforniaBoaterCard.com. Right here is the Fresno County Sheriff's Jeep Rescue Unit. Members of this unit are disaster service workers who respond to call-outs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And let's once again join Matt Otstadt on the parade route. Matt? Well, thank you guys, and this is something literally brand new. This is a brand new City of Fresno fire engine. This is engine six. I'm with Robert behind the wheel. This engine hasn't even entered service yet. You're seeing it live first here, right here on CW59 and Fox 26. It's got new engine smell. I get to wave to everyone. Can we fire up that horn? You love that sound? That is the sound of freedom. It's the sound of the Fresno Veterans Day Parade, and there's more coming from downtown Fresno right after this. Don't go away. You're watching the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team. Sponsored years. by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. We'll be right back. And right after that is the Fresno County Sheriff's Office recruitment team made up of deputies, correctional officers, dispatchers, and crime scene technicians. They attend various community events throughout the year to educate people about the jobs available at the department. This recruitment vehicle is a great tool to showcase the many positions offered at the Sheriff's Office. These canines are incredible, the training that uh, they go through and the services that they provide. I actually had the uh, Canine Awards Banquet uh, here in Fresno. We raise funds to uh, buy equipment and uh, to help the handlers uh, in future training. 
We also want to acknowledge the Fresno County Sheriff's Office Volunteer Mountaineering Search and Rescue Team, as well as the Fresno County Sheriff's Department Search and Rescue Team. You know, you look at some of their vehicles and it looks like it's fun, uh, but when <laughs> these guys are out on a call, it is nothing about fun. No, it's all about work. It's all about work and commitment, dedication, and uh, rest. Welcome back to the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team, sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. But now what we see here is the Windmill Propane, locally owned business served areas from Madera to Bakersfield for more than 25 years. In partnership with the Semper Fi Fund, through Windmill Charities, Windmill Propane donates money for every gallon delivered. Like, for example, in the last year, they added up to more than $7,500. Windmill Propane, thank you for your service of veterans. You know what Semper Fi stands for, right? Semper All, Fi. This stands for Always Faithful. That's a Marine Corps motto, uh, Always Faithful, Semper Fidelis. And announcing themselves, the Fresno Fire Department. <laughs> you know, the Fresno Fire Department serves over half a million people. Started as a volunteer hook and ladder company all the way back in 1877. They're an all-hazard fire department with hazmat, airport crash response, water and heavy rescue capabilities. Fresno Fire has long given veterans an opportunity to continue to protect and put service above all else. Fresno Fire Department's core values are teamwork, trust, and commitment. Let's go back along the parade route to Lexi Govea. And I am joined by James Nahira, he is a Vietnam veteran. So tell us a little bit about your story, James. Well, when I graduated from Roosevelt in 63, the Vietnam War was starting to escalate, so all my friends were, uh, well not all of them, but some of them joined, Navy, Marines, uh, and they wanted me to join in the Navy with them, but I go, I had a girlfriend at the time, so I go, well, I'm not ready to leave the girl yet, and everything, so I waited for the draft, and yeah, two years later, uh, November 1965, they drafted me, so uh, I went to Fort Riley, Kansas, and then I went to Aberdeen, Maryland to be a small missile system repairman. Came back to Fort Riley. The first sergeant needed a clerk. So the guys I went over there with knew that I had taken a typing class at Roosevelt. And so they're over here looking at me, you know, because the sar first sergeant wanted one of us to step forward. So I go, okay. So I stepped forward and made a clerk out of him. Kept me out of trouble. Everybody else went down to the Mekong Delta and stayed right there in the morning. Oh well, yeah, I got here about 9.30, 9.20, <laughs> just to see some old friends and gather up there and all that. Alexis, thank you. And up next, we have Fresno City Council member Esmeralda Soria. She represents District 1, which includes the historic Tower District, Fresno High, Quigley Park, and Lions Park neighborhoods. She's proud to be here today to celebrate veterans past and present. Council member Soria will continue to support services and facilities for those who have served. Thank you. 
And next is Council President Nelson Esparza, representing Council District 7, strong advocate for Fresno veterans during his first term in office. Council President Esparza would like to thank veterans for their service and their sacrifice and uh, looks forward to serving veterans during his forthcoming term on the council. Council President Nelson Esparza. Nelson's my councilman and uh, I appreciate it. My daughter and uh, his spouse, they work together and that's Danya, right? All right, hi Danya, how you doing? Hey, let's welcome the Fresno High School Marching Band and Color Guard. The band performs at home football games, local parades, competitions, and community events. The band is led by director Corey Reynolds, drum major Nevaeh Peace, and assistant drum major Alyssa Reyes. The Warrior Marching Band and Color Guard is proud to represent the city of Fresno in their competitions. So I'm assuming that uh, this young lady right here went to Fresno High because she's pretty excited and jazzed about them coming by. We keep looking for Kopi, thinking maybe he will be out here too. He is a proud graduate of Fresno High School. Go Warriors. He might be by, uh, coming by later. He's usually in the parade. So did you go to Fresno High? My husband did. Oh, your husband did. All right. Because you seemed pretty excited when they came by. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Props to Fresno High. <laughs> this is the American Legion Post 621, represented by some of their members, including past commander, Mr. Les Chappelle, who's in the driver's seat right there. Post 621 is a community-oriented organization. It focuses its efforts on our Valley youth. American Legion Post 621. They're out of Squaw Valley. Oh. Let's hear it for our local United States Navy. Here is the Lemoore Naval Air Station. They're located in Kings County and Fresno County. Built in 1961, Lemoore is home to the largest master jet base. Thank you, Lemoore Naval Air Station, we appreciate for being with the us Navy. today. We appreciate Lemoore. All right. They have a great canine unit as well. Uh, we didn't see him this last year at our Canine Awards, but we're going to make sure they make it to the next one, okay? We'll get you guys out here. And how's this for the reminder? Everybody is part of this uh, service. You've got service members and baby carriages. <laughs> the whole family is part of this. And that's one of the reasons why we need to always remember this day, because it is a family that we are supporting, along with the veterans who are serving our nation. Thank you. You know, I'm sitting here biting my tongue because I'm a retired Marine, and we have a lot of banter that goes on between the Navy <laughs> and the tongue. Marines. Love you guys, <laughs> for reals, okay? Appreciate you guys. This is U.S. Navy Agent Orange. Many veterans are still suffering the effects of Agent Orange, part of the repercussions of war many years ago. The U.S. Navy Agent Orange strives to honor all veterans who are still in this battle. And next is the Central Valley Honor Flight. They are committed to honoring World War II, Korean War, and Vietnam War veterans in our valley by sending them to see their memorial in Washington, D.C. at no cost to the veteran. The all-volunteer group has chartered to uh, flights to escort over, over 1,500 veterans and their travel guardians to Washington, D.C. on 23 separate trips. The veterans describe their three-day journey as a trip of a lifetime. Each trip costs over $200,000 and is funded entirely by community donations. And let's send it now back to Matt Otstadt, wandering the parade route. And really quick, Central Valley Art it was my pleasure to be with you guys on this most recent trip. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, guys. As you well know, the Fresno Veterans Day Parade is must-watch events. And people get here early. And I do mean early. You think we work early in the morning? Lolly, you said you got here at what time this morning? 8 o'clock this morning. And you've been in this chair ever since? Ever since. Just waiting. 
So why sit and wait for so long? What's so special about this parade? Well, my brothers were veterans and they served in Vietnam and uh, I come early to save a place for all my family right here. Where's the family? Well, from that end right there. Make some noise for the family, everybody. Right here, right here. We're all here to celebrate the veterans. And what do you think of the parade so far? I like it. Like We come every year except for the last years that they didn't have it. Right. And uh, it's different today. It's beautiful. Beautiful weather, beautiful people, and beautiful Castro here. <laughs> and I did not pay her to say that. That's the most amazing thing of this. She said that all in our own free will. Well, thank you so very much. Happy Veterans Day to you and the family. It's a party. What can I say? Back to you guys. Local organization that helped veterans with all their needs. They want to thank all our veterans today for their service and sacrifice. Thank you, Central Valley Veterans. All right, we have some more beautiful vehicles. Navy League of the United States and San Joaquin Valley Studebaker Driving Club. Members include several veterans. Navy League was founded in 1902 with the help of President Theodore Roosevelt to support and advocate for the Navy, the Marine Corps, the Coast Guard, and the U.S. Merchant Marines. Navy League seeks necessary support to maintain our military strength by staying connected with U.S. political representatives. They host annual expositions. They bring together U.S. defense industry and key military decision makers, all thanks to the Navy League of the United States. I feel like James Bond just uh, drove by there in that Aston Martin. Yeah, there you go. That's good oh, looking. Wow. That Studebaker was something else. You can never tell if they're coming or going. Oh, yeah. Is it too late to ask for a box of Thin Mints? This is the uh, Girl Scout Service Unit 34 of Fresno. Yes. They actively engage in community service projects and outdoor events like camping and hiking. Look at that dedication out here on crutches. Way yeah. to go. My gosh. They are the future leaders of tomorrow. We're looking forward to cookie season. You know it. Kim, look at the, the little one right there. That's a future leader right there being carried. Yeah. I thank the Girl Scouts for what I learned when I was there a Girl you go. Scout. Thank you. <laughs> All right, 5167. Yeah, Thank see, you. Let's see how they do when they get closer to Chichancy. <laughs> if they still have that same enthusiasm, huh? Oh, they're young. They've got the gumption. Heck, I'm tired already. <laughs> <laughs> they're here for it, and we're here for it, too. Yeah. Are we ready for Central Ravens Youth Football and Cheer? Yes, we are. For over 20 years, they provided the most comprehensive and competitive youth football and cheer experience. Look at all those student athletes, kindergarten through the sixth grade. But it's not just about cheering. It's also about hard work, respect, and accountability. Central Ravens Youth Football and Cheer. And can't forget the Ravenettes. Where's the Ravenettes, huh? Let's hear it. Much of their coaching staff uh, includes several military members. They believe that football is more than a game. It's a family. In fact, <laughs> yeah, their slogan is one team, one family, once a raven, always a raven. Just a heads up, it's about to get loud. Yeah. <laughs> now, we tell this organization every year not to rev their bikes when they get by the announcer booth because of what happens to the sound. They don't listen. They well, don't listen. if we asked uh, any of the other cars to rev up, yeah. it should be allowable for them. That's right. Yep. I agree. It's going to be no different today, Dan. Yeah, I hear you. This is the Matthew Harley-Davidson Owners Group. 
There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Harley owners from all over Fresno County, they ride to honor and salute our veterans and want to thank all veterans for their service. Matthew Harley Owners Group, thank you. Oh, there's a sidecar over there. Yeah, look at that. You know, as these guys ride through the parade, uh, they tell us that uh, they have to be careful that these bikes don't overheat. Uh, because, and that's why sometimes they slow down and then sprint off to try to air cool their bikes. Yeah, just like that, right? Kim, there's room for you in that Harley Davidson Club. I saw other ladies riding those Harleys. I think, yeah. <laughs> We're going to get uh, Mike Marr coming through here. Mike is a dear friend, and uh, we appreciate all the contributions that he makes uh, for our valley. He's a prior Navy man. I won't hold that against him, uh, but he's also prior uh, FBI agent, and he got uh, the FBI agent award two years in a row. Uh, we're very, very fortunate to have him here. Mike and Mrs. Mike, thank you very much, all right? <laughs> As our next group of poaches, uh, we do want to uh, give a big thank you to our sponsors, Daryl Mini Storage, Amazon, Vicky Yoon Rancheria of the Trichancy Indians, University of Phoenix, IQ Vision Care, uh, Caglia Environmental, the County of Fresno, Department of Behavioral Health, Subaru Lithia of uh, Fresno, and Biotech Associates, Comcast, American Ambulance, Johansson Transportation Service, Red Wave Print Shop, and of course, Assemblyman Jim Patterson. Thank you all so much. And if you're interested uh, to make a donation, uh, go to our website, www uh, Central Valley Veterans Day Parade. It's CV uh, and then uh, CVV uh, Day Parade. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> I had to think about it in my head. But uh, we're always looking for people to help uh, make donations and make this parade possible. Well, the California Armenian Home. Yes. Walking in honor of veterans yes. of our community. Wow. Thank you so much, everybody who was out here. And from what I understand, you don't have to be Armenian to be in the home, correct? That's right. So don't let the name fool you. Uh, this is a fantastic home. Uh, it's run by the greatest people. And uh, I just love what this home does for our community. I've always cherished my time at Fresno City College. Here they are next. Leading is Vice President Lateria Hall, followed by Dr. Jaime Duran, Director of Veterans Resource Center. Joining them also is Sean Henderson, Kurt Piland, Peter Kakosa, and Gary Fife. Fresno City College is California's first community college serving our community for the past 113 years. Fresno City College, thank you. And on the CW59, we'll be right back. You're watching the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team, sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. We'll be right back. The fire truck is also from Fresno City College. We certainly appreciate uh, their service and uh, education for our future firefighters. Thank you so much for all you do. Uh, these, are, uh, these are our future firefighters right here. Thank you so much.
Fresno City College Fire Technology, looking good. <laughs> and the Fresno City College Police Academy, our future law enforcement. Welcome back to the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team, sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. And welcome back. We are on to Division 4, and leading is the Honor Guard from Duncan Polytechnical High School's Air Force Junior ROTC. Uh, Duncan Polytech's Color Guard, Drill, Academic, and Sport Teams compete locally, regionally, and nationally. Duncan Polly, thank you. Little razzle-dazzle there with the uh, rifle team. Nicely done. Hoorah, gentlemen, ladies. Not enough can be said about these students. They have to maintain a certain grade point average as well as their uniform and their appearance. They wear their uniforms occasionally uh, during the school year, and uh, they're looked upon uh, differently than everybody else in the school because they have a higher expectation and an example to set. So we appreciate the uh, junior ROTC group, and uh, many of them will go on to be active duty uh, service people but also become professionals in medical careers, technology, manufacturing, pharmacy, robotics, automotive repair as well. All that they are learning. And from the California Air National Guard who brought us our flyover today, here we have the 144th Fighter Wing. They provide air superiority in support of worldwide joint operations as well as air defense, utilizing the F-15C Eagle, all from the Central Valley. When called upon by the governor, the 144th Fighter Wing also contributes to the defense support of civil authorities' missions. In the past year, the 144th has been directly involved in defending the homeland, supporting COVID and fire response across the state of California. The airmen of the 144th Fighter Wing have been protecting the skies over California for over 68 years. Thank you to the 144th for defending freedom right here in our backyard. This fighter wing is uh, very exceptional. Uh, they've won many of competitions, even against the active duty uh, armed forces. I uh, had the privilege and honor of dogfighting these guys back in 95. And uh, they did a great job. How much does that suit weigh? Is it over 100 pounds? There you go. All right, let's go out to Alexis Govea out on the parade route. Alexis. Good morning or good afternoon now. We've been here all morning. You've been here since early, right? Let everyone know what time you arrived. I got here at 10. At 10 in the morning. Yes. And tell us about your story. You served for over 20 years, right? 22 years, retired Master Sergeant, United States Air Force. And tell us your name. Rosanna. Rosanna, and your last name, because you come up from a family that has served, a big family, right? Yes, uh, Rosanna Wright. My uh, my uncle served in Vietnam. My son serves now. 
in the Air Force. And we appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for your service and just being out here at this parade. How special is it? Oh, it's always good to represent all the all the branches that come out, definitely. And you have your mom with you here today too, excuse me. What is your name, Mom? Anne. Anne, and just how proud are you of your daughter? I'm real proud of her. Yeah. She's a good daughter. And just for like this, I was telling your daughter, you know, you guys come out here as a family, as a whole, and get to celebrate, again, her as well as the rest of mm -hmm. your family, right? Yes, we come every year. We don't miss it. Um, mainly the, the bands and just all the, everybody happy. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. You see so many people smiling. Come together. Mm -hmm. yes. Everyone come together. Thank you so much. And once again, very proud mom over here. Entire family. Yes. Appreciate your entire family. We're still going to be hanging out. We're going to toss things back to the parade. All right, and uh, thank you for everybody watching on the CW59 at home. We are here at the in downtown Fresno at the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade. And just passing now is the National Sojourners Heroes of 76. This group originated in the Philippines in 1898. Hey, real quick, Justin. Uh, that's Larry Duba driving that Thunderbird. Uh, he's uh, the guy who always acts like uh, George Washington, and he's been all over the United States uh, impersonating George Washington, <laughs> does a lot of his speeches, and Larry Duba was also the past president of the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade. Hmm. Well, and right next to him was uh, Colonel Ed Bates, retired from the California State Military Reserve. Ed is a World War II veteran and former sheriff of Madera County. And now we're seeing the VFW post 3225 of Clovis, boots on the ground service, personnel from World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Desert Storm, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Their motto is Veterans Helping Veterans. And they raise funds to support veterans' needs as well as helping out different events throughout the year just like this one. And catching up, we have the DAV, which stands for Disabled American Veterans. It serves veterans and their families with the purpose to empower veterans oh. to lead high-quality lives with respect and dignity. Oh, and, we, yeah, and then we have our little Miss La Petite from Clovis, Myla Joy McIntyre. Scholarship pageant celebrates natural charm and beauty. Contestants are three months old up to adults. And another pageant title is approaching. This is Miss Fresno Volunteer Jacqueline Trafton. She is a local title holder for the Miss California Volunteer Pageant. She is actively serving in the United States Air Force at 144th Fighter Wing right here in Fresno. Jacqueline has dedicated her life to serving her community through pageants and serving her country through the military. She hopes to inspire young women to dream big and never give up on your goals. Good. This is the Civil Air Patrol, auxiliary to the U.S. Air Force. The Civil Air Patrol was created 81 years ago in 1941 to defend the American homeland during World War II. And as a member of the U.S. Air Force total force, the Civil Air Patrol plays a major role in disaster relief, educational outreach, even STEM advocacy, science, technology, and uh, engineering and math. Representing this year are volunteer members from across California Wing Group 6 and from squadrons here in the Central Valley. Civil Air Patrol. The Civil Air Patrol has a great history of uh, why they started and uh, what derived from the Civil Air Patrol. Uh, these guys provided a lot of service, uh, especially back in the 50s and all when uh, uh, armed forces and in the 40s when uh, they were exhausted with uh, doing deployments and whatever else. The Civil Air Patrol uh, filled a lot of the needs within the United States and within our area. Uh, they've been around a long, long time, and uh, they deserve a lot of respect and a lot of honor. 
Kim, that's a job I would like, the one laying down on the flatbed <laughs> right there. Just... <laughs> Are those boots comfortable? Uh, yeah, if you put inserts in them. <laughs> <laughs> but they've got so many new boots that are, uh, it used to be when I was in, you could only wear a combat boot, military boot. Now uh, they're allowing different boots, Under Armour or uh, whatever type boots. They're a lot more comfortable and a lot more cushiony. Uh, so good for them for doing that because those boots after years of, of use uh, they wreak havoc on mm -hmm, your joints mm -hmm. and what you're looking at here is the chuck wagon this is the uh, mobile kitchen that the civil <laughs> air patrol provides on display only it doesn't look like we're open for lunch <laughs> there you go lunch doesn't sound too bad right about now huh no We have the VFW Veterans of Foreign Wars next, uh, VFW Post 5057, in fact. Annually, there are over 2 million members of VFW chapters. They contribute to more than 8 million hours of val volunteer hours in our community. Thank you, VFW Post 5057, for all you do. Here's Castle Air Force Base. Look at you guys, looking good. All right, good to have you guys out here. Thank you so much. And once again, we're going out to KMJ's Matt Ottstadt live on the parade route. Let's send it on over to Matt. Well, we are putting some miles on our shoes here. We're walking with the Fresno Republican women. This is my friend, Pat. Pat, how are you? Very well, thank you. How you doing on this Veterans Day? Your, your, your parade is just getting started. Exactly, and we had a little trouble getting in line, but we made it, and we're just mighty proud to be here. And uh, speaking of Republican women, uh -huh. Fresno County Repu and City Republican women, we meet every uh, fourth Tuesday at Pardini's, and anybody interested in uh, supporting politics, and serving the country. Uh, Get involved. That's what we do. All right. And Pat, uh, we would be remiss if after that plug we didn't Im introduce the most important member yes. of the parade. And it happens to be? Mascot, Sammy, named after his favorite uncle. Uncle Sammy. You get it? <laughs> Hi, Sammy. Well, thank you, ladies. Please continue. Happy Veterans Day, and thank Pat. you. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Named after their uncle Sammy. You love it. And the parade is just, we're, we're continuing. Miles and miles yet to go. Lots to do and see here in downtown Fresno. Uncle Sammy. <laughs> Back to you guys. Fresno American Indian Health Project. They've been serving the native community since 2007 and provide the culturally appropriate medical, behavioral health, and youth services. They're also joined by youth program families and Fresno City College Native Student Club. By the way, they're hosting a car show next Saturday, November 19th, thanks to Fresno American Indian Health Project. We appreciate Garcia Trucking uh, for donating that truck uh, to give them a ride. We have a lot of yeah. different trucking companies that volunteer their services to uh, transport these people through the parades. Wonderful. This is Wyndham Senior Living Facility, a modern age senior living community. It's just minutes from Woodward Park in the heart of Northeast Fresno. At the Wyndham, this is where you'll be able to pursue your passion in a supportive and caring environment. Unique options are available for independent and assisted living. Say hello to Big Sandy Rancheria Band of Western Mono Indians hello. from Hawberry, California. Hello. Yeah, hello. 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 We're supposed to say a big hello. Sure. There we go. Hello. hello. City of Auberry is home to our Native American Veterans Memorial Cemetery. It is the second of its kind in California and seventh across the United States. Big Sandy Rancheria participates in the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade every year and would like to thank the parade for many years of continued support and commitment to our veterans. A special thanks to our Native veterans, Big Sandy Rancheria elders, 
tribal council members, drummers, and dancers who are with us here today. <laughs> All right, Big Sandy. California State retiree members active in their own communities, taking part in food drives, helping students with scholarships. They help with many charitable organizations. Goal is to continuously make a difference after retirement and stay connected to the community and, of course, have fun. And here are the Fresno County and City Republican women. Their mission is to provide a forum for all women in our region to be key players at the political table on national, state, and local issues. Thank you, Fresno County and City Republican women. With the gentleman driving the car. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Republican women. Good to see you all. And on the CW59, you're watching the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade. We'll be right back. You're watching the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team, sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. We'll be right back. Association. They strive to promote and advance the image of the mountain communities, providing fun, engaging activities for youth, and instilling the understanding and respect of the ranching heritage. They donate to different organizations like Central Valley Honor Flight, Queen Megan Payton, Princess Paitlin Palmer, and so many more. Thanks to the mountain. Welcome back to the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade. Brought to you by our Fox 26 News team. Sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. I have. All right, good. And if you're just joining us back on the CW59, you just missed a dancing horse. And Dan, uh, I did ride a horse once, and uh, it was quite an experience. Okay, well, we're not talking about the one where it's chained to a, a roundabout and stuff. Oh, well, then no. Hey. <laughs> Kim, what about you? Yes, I have a broken collarbone because of my horse riding. Yikes. Um, I did a lot of um, work with horses when I was in 4-H after I was in the Girl Scouts. Ah, nice. And Not sure if Alexis Govea has uh, any horse riding experience, but she is out on the parade route right now. And let's send it on over to Alexis. All right, here we go. And by the way, here and I am joined by a Vietnam veteran as well as some of his family members and friends. We have his wife right next to him. Tell us your name and tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, Cleve Evans, a Vietnam veteran. I was over there three years. And my wife, she wrote me a letter every day. So I went for her. I probably would be here today. She, when I came back, she helped take care of me. And that's real important to veterans. Thank you so much for your service. We appreciate you. You know, this parade, it brings so many people together. How special is it for you and your heart? Well, we come out here every year. My wife, and relatives, and my brother, the Vietnam veteran. We come out here every year. It's really important to all of us. Thank you so much. Oh. So many veterans out here. Thank you so much once again. We'll talk to Wifey over here. How proud are you of this? I support him. I make him get a better Veterans Day early. My sister supports us. She's here with us every year. God bless her. Too. Thank you so, so much. Definitely very, very proud woman. This is fun, right? It's awesome to be out here. As your husband had mentioned, so many veterans out here. We're going to speak. We're going to be speaking some more coming up in just a few minutes. Great service. If there's a time when there's a family emergency uh, here in the United States and the service member is overseas, the Red Cross gets involved and gets the word out to that unit and gets that uh, service member back home to be with the family where he's needed or she's needed. Hmm. 
And as it says on the side of the van there, yeah. All-American Red Cross Disaster Relief Assistance is free. They have a lot of the, the organizations that are on bases as well, especially overseas. The Red Cross uh, groups have uh, functions uh, that uh, the, the veterans and the military people uh, are welcome to attend, and it's normally always free, and they have uh, food, drink, whatever. Uh, they're a great organization. They bring a little bit of home uh, out to uh, the deployed areas. Justin, you were talking a little bit about Plymouths and uh, Chrysler products and Mopar. Uh, we have some coming up. Oh, yeah. It's time to, it's going to get loud again. Yeah. All right. So you're going to also get hungry. Somebody was talking about lunch, right? That's right. Yeah, it's going to get a little spicy, too, because we've got Bobby Salazar's salsa. As we all know, this salsa is great for dipping, cooking, a local favorite, now available in local supermarkets. Grab a pint or two the next time you're out grocery shopping. It is Bobby Licious. And the Central Valley brother of Third Wheel, a group of friends who enjoy riding custom-designed three-wheel trikes. They go all over. They meet other chapters. They invite people to join them with their meetings. They go for rides. They always have an extra seat if you want to join them. Or an extra few seats there. Right. What's unique about these bikes is they don't have to comply with uh, smog regulations. So that's pretty nice. Really? They can put a V8 or a V6 in that bike, and it doesn't have to comply. So, hmm. <laughs> Plenty of wheelie pop. flags. What was that, Justin? He's popping wheelies. That, oh, yeah. And what did you say, Kim? I'm sorry. I like to see there's plenty of room for the flags. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let's Definitely supporters of veterans. <laughs> Let's see if he's got another wheelie in him. Maybe so. There it is. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, this is True Wood by Merrill at Fig Garden. This is an exclusive pet-friendly independent senior living community. This is in the at the Fig Garden Loop area. They offer everything people need from chef-prepared meals to a full calendar of activities. Thank you, True Wood by Merrill at Fig Garden. And Matt Ostad, once again, live on the parade route, getting the steps in. Matt, how are we looking out there? <laughs> Ever since this parade started a little after 11, I've been watching this group of kids here and we're gonna help them because they have but one simple request of any float that comes by them. What are we asking them for, right? Honk your horn! Honk your horn! Honk your horn! Honk your horn! I don't know. Wait, wait, I don't know if a Humvee has a horn, but I know that car has a horn. Honk your horn! The Humvee doesn't have a horn, but that car does. Honk your horn. Honk your horn. Hey! It's the simple things that make life worth living. That's all it comes down to it. From the young to the old and everyone in between. It's the Fresno Veterans Day Parade. You got to have fun. Back to you guys. <laughs> it's good to have you all out here. Thank you. Uh, for participating, and thank you for uh, what you do. We appreciate you. Years ago, we actually uh, honored the Native American veterans, and it was a, a two- to three-day event uh, at Chichancy Park, and they brought in uh, Native Americans from as far uh, east as Texas, and they came in from New Mexico, Arizona, uh, different areas, and we had a 24-hour powwow <laughs> where they danced and uh, had music, and it was around the clock. It was amazing. Yeah, the, the party doesn't stop at those things. Pardon me? The party doesn't stop. Oh, no. Uh-uh. It was kind of like Woodstock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys probably weren't even old enough for Woodstock, were you? No. Okay. I did not go. No. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> You've seen the documentary on Netflix, though. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Take care. This is Eclampus Vetus, the ancient and order of Eclampus. Is it Vetus or Vitus? Vitus. Thank you, sorry. It's an historical society dedicated to the preservation of early California history and Western heritage. They support our brothers and sisters in the military. They help children in need. They want to say thank you to the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, Eclampus Vitus. And they do answer to Vetus as well, but <laughs> Vitus is the proper enunciation. The proper Just like Fidelis, it's Vitus as well. You gotta love these old fire engines that, oh, uh, I know. that keep up together, right? Yeah. That's the old siren method right there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good to see you all out here in great numbers. Little old school Toyota Supra there. <laughs> And this is a little older. This is the Fresno Range Pistol Club, a public indoor shooting range where you bring your handguns or you can rent one. The Pistol Club offers classes from self-defense to security guard to professional personal protection, also concealed carry. The Fresno Pistol Range is open every day. And Matt Ostad is keeping up with all of our parade goers today out on the parade route. Let's send it on over to Matt. All right, uh, we've got an exclusive interview. We're wandering to the dark side of the force. I don't know if I'll survive. Excuse me, Lord Vader. Lord Vader. Uh, this is this is Sir Lord Darth Vader. How are you doing? I'm good. And uh, the dark side likes the Veterans Day Parade? Absolutely. We support our veterans. Fantastic. Well, then, I, at the risk of making you angry, I will just thank you and, and let you go. Have a nice day. Mercy right. Force be with you. Hey, have a nice day from Darth Vader. My life is now complete, and I didn't get force choked. I chalked it up as a win. Back to you guys. <laughs> All righty. Welcome back. Uh, we are here along the parade route with the Fresno Area Express, otherwise known as the FAX and ATU 1027, along with the City of Fresno Department of Transportation. They are proud to be represented by several veterans and active duty men and women. Yeah, veterans and current service members from all branches of the military work in various capacities throughout the departments. That's right. You can hear them saying now, ATU supports our veterans. And they get to ride for free. I'd love to see in the little wow. kids handing out those American flags. That is so cute. <laughs> is that what came to your mind, Justin, when you saw that? You thought how cute? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. He's got two All cute right. daughters. Oh, good for you. Who are grown they're, women now. They're grown but, yeah. now, but, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, as kids get older, you, yeah. you miss the... You missed the days when they were little. So you're saying they're not cute anymore? You're oh, no. on the air, buddy. You can't say they're that. They're beautiful. They're, they're, they're off at, uh, in school in L.A. fixing to make more money than their dads. So. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, every generation's supposed to be better, right? That's right. This is California Funding and Real Pro Properties. They've been serving our veterans since 2004. Local company, all aspects of experience of home buying and refinance process. And they offer the Homes for Heroes program. That's open to any veteran, any teacher, any medical police, or even firefighter personnel. You can find them right across the street from Fashion Fair Mall. California Funding and Real Pro Properties. Stop, stop, stop. And now we see Paintbrush living in memory care. Thankful to our veterans who have served in the U.S. military. We certainly would not be here without them. Uh, they say without their service and sacrifice, Paintbrush assisted living in memory care, wanting to give to our community and say thank you. 
a little while ago in that golf cart, we saw Harry Paul uh, drive by. He's one of the board members for the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade. He's been a part of the parade for so many years now. We appreciate Harry Paul. And uh, if he wasn't in the parade, he would have been in the AUSA band, the Freedom uh, Band. So we appreciate all he does for veterans. And on the CW59, we'll be right back. But if you're out here... You're watching the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team, sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. We'll be right back. ...also provided donations to youth softball teams, soccer teams, and donated back-to-school supplies for kids in various rural schools. Looks like a Marine standing in the back of that truck there. Ura Semper Fi, brother. All right. This is Oakmont Senior Living, striving to create an atmosphere of community among their residents, their family members, their team members. They say they exceed all expectations, and they deliver an exceptional experience to their residents. What do we say? What, what do you say to get to Luke Skywalker? Red one. What is it? <laughs> Red five. Red five. Red five. This is the 501st Legion Rebel Legion oh. in Mandalorian bum, Merc's bum, costuming bum, clubs. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. There we Don't go. give us the force. Be nice. Oh, oh my gosh. This is an all. There oh, you go. You. All right, John. Good to see you, brother. Welcome back to the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team, sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. All righty, welcome back, and we are nearing the end. You know, you were talking about the cleanup, uh, and <laughs> it's always needed, but first let's toss to Matt out on the parade route. Thank you very much, guys. And I guess it's it's just the new dad in me. I have a 19-month-old at home. Hi, baby Jack. Jack, Jack, daddy loves you. And now that the parade is winding down, I happen to gravitate toward a family with another smiling baby boy. This is Julie. How are you, Julie? I'm great, thank you. And introduce who we have, because this face is just, you are just too cute for words. Look at this face. Look at that face. Yes. This is baby Noah, by the way, and Noah's mom, Taylor. Did I get the names right? You did. And then on the far end? Dina. All right, now that I got everybody, but just look on a cuteness scale of 1 to 10, you are about a 15, buddy. Did you like the parade? Did it taste good? Did the parade taste good? He looks at me not unlike my son looks at me. Dad has lost his mind. Mm -hmm. But this yeah. is his first parade. His first parade, yes. And how did he do? He did excellent. He loved the fire engines and the horses and red cars. I think, and, dogs. I, and I think every kid does. Yes, I think I agree. Yeah. And what was your favorite part? Uh, the fire engines. Oh, just like him. Just like All right, yeah. Mom Taylor, he's going to be tired out. Will he sleep through the night? Oh, I'm thinking so, for sure. The Vegas <laughs> betting line puts it at even money at this point. But look at that face. Just, Michael, zoom in on this face, because I mean, buddy, happy Veterans Day, Noah. May this be the first of many, many parades. And ladies. Thank you so very much. Happy Veterans Day. Happy holidays. Anything you want to Thank add? You. Anything you want to add? <laughs> Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Maybe next year he'll have the microphone and they'll retire me. Who knows? The youth shall lead you guys. That's right. Back to you. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. And we have cleanup and now um, people are leaving. Yep, and uh, thank you to Matt and Alexis for walking the parade route and getting the viewer's perspective of what's been going on here. Uh, thank you to everybody who made it out today. And uh, this has been the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade. We'll be right back. We're watching the Central Valley Veterans Day Parade, brought to you by our Fox 26 News team, sponsored by Donald P. Dick Heating and Air. We'll be right back.